Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I am going to be doing your Mercury Retrograde reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and also to subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload new videos, and I upload all the time, just hit the bell notification button. And if you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will be listed and linked in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. Let's let the bull sing as we see what the tarot has to say. How will Leo be affected by Mercury Retrograde? May 29th to June 22nd, 2021. How will Leo be affected by Mercury Retrograde? May 29th to June 22nd, 2021. Angels and Spirit Guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and Spirit Guides. How will Leo be affected by Mercury Retrograde? May 29th to June 22nd, 2021. How will Leo be affected by Mercury Retrograde? May 29th to June 22nd, 2021. Angels and Spirit Guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and Spirit Guides. So at our root is the Sun card and the Knight of Pentacles. It's absolutely a beautiful sign. And then at crowning us is the Emperor and the Seven of Wands. Okay, very interesting, very powerful. There's a lot of success here and in moving towards prosperity and what we desire. But because of Mercury retrograde, it means that we have to be very, very mindful of who we're working with, of how things are being said or what people are saying and the way that they're interpreting things. This is also not a time to sign any documents or make any really big moves. So do be mindful of that. All right, now the chakra energy for this time. How will Leo be affected by Mercury retrograde? May 29th to June 22nd, 2021. How will Leo be affected by Mercury retrograde? May 29th to June 22nd, 2021. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. So we have clarity, which is the third eye chakra. Things become really clear. Why? Because a lot of muck and mire gets turned up and it's like, oh my gosh, okay, now I see it. Now I see what I want. Now I see where I'm headed. Now now I see things a lot more clearly. I see who I'm dealing with and you know where they're coming from. What energy does Leo have to be mindful of during Mercury retrograde, May 29th to June 22nd, 2021? Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. The moon, fear. Fear, fear of, of the unknown. People come at you with a lot of fear. Preconceived notions, pre preconceived ideas. And people just have a lot of fear during Mercury retrograde. They'll be like, oh my gosh, it's Mercury retrograde. That can be something that brings up fear. There's also the state of the world and everything that's going on. That can be something that brings up fear. But there's just a sense of, of fear and doubt and, and chaos that comes forward. And so here, 
there is there is being able to see this, but not being being pulled into it. People are going to want to pull you into their mess here, Leo. Don't let them. Really, seriously, kind of walk away. With the clarity, with the third eye chakra, again, things become clear because so much of what isn't wanted, of what isn't needed, comes up. And you're going to be looking at it and being like, what is this nonsense? What is this absolute garbage? You know, and why is it, why is it coming in my path? And I left because there's going to be this, this real sense of just seeing things for what they are. And all of a sudden, like things that we once thought were beautiful, we once saw as beautiful, start to ch change into something ugly. And we're seeing the essence of it. So do be mindful of that. Now we're moving towards the sun. We're embracing the sun. This is the happiest card in the whole entire deck. Prosperity, success, bounty, brilliance. It comes in. We shine. It's radiance. It's, it's moving towards what we, we love, what we enjoy, what we desire. And this is a time where we have to embrace that. We have to say, this is me. And this is where I want to be. Mercury retrograde is going to try and make it a battle every single step of the way. It really is. There's a sense of power here. There's the emperor energy, which is Aries energy that crowns us. So we're definitely warriors. And as fire sign energies, we're, we're good at being warriors. But this is a time where we have to let in the sun. We have to let in the joy, see the joy, embrace the joy, become kind of one with the joy that is a part of us. And at our, our root is the Knight of Pentacles, slowly and steadily moving towards prosperity. But also knowing that the progress during this time, it's not going to happen quickly. We need to take the joyful moments when they come and not say, well, it's not big enough. It's not good enough. It's not powerful enough. And so here there's going to be the sense of stepping back, of being able to see what we desire, see what we want, see what we need, moving towards something bigger, moving towards what we we want within our lives and where it is that we want to be. So that becomes very powerful for us at this time. And it becomes very much a sense of, is this the prosperity that I, I want to be a part of? You know, where is it that I'm moving forward to? What is it that I'm planning? How is it that, you know, how am I laying down stable foundations? Because at this time, things can get mucky, things can get, get confused, and we need to keep the direction that we're headed at as the goal of our heart and be able to say, this is what I want. This is where I need to be and celebrate ourselves without letting people take us by eyes. Because when we have the sun card come in, there is a lot of jealousy that comes with that. And people think, oh, well, you're radiant. You're, you're shining with this prosperity. I get to take it. You know, I want that too. And since they don't know how to find it within themselves, they'll take it from you. The emperor crowns us. We're going to be very aware of battles during this time. The sense of claiming what is ours, claiming what we want, looking at what we desire and saying, this is what I need, period, end of discussion. But there is going to be this sense of battles coming in, of us looking at things and just having to stand our ground with what we say and what we want and stand behind it and make sure that what we say is clear and and truthful and and grounded in you know, firm reality. And I don't know why spirit is, is saying that, like grounded in firm reality. Because, yeah, because when people come and, and argue against us, it's like, look, I have all the receipts. Like, I have all the facts right here. There's there's nothing that you can, can push against and say, oh, that's a lie. Oh, that's that's a misgiving. So here with the emperor, it's claiming our throne. It's claiming our power. It's knowing what it is that we want, seeing it as the desired force and just absolutely going after it. Now with the seven of wands, this is very much a sense of I have to fight. I have to fight for what I want. I have to fight for what I need. I have to fight for everything that I get. And spirit is saying here, don't stop stop the fighting because everybody's going to be more than ready to have a fight, to take a misunderstanding and bring it to the next level. This is saying, step back, look at what you desire, look at where you want to be, look at the bigger picture of who you are and, and what's truly important and what isn't. And then stand your ground when need be, but also make sure you're picking your fights wisely during this time. Because people are going to be more than willing to pick fights with you out of fear, out of a sense of, I want the blessing that you have, out of the fact that they know that you're seeing things more clearly. And they're going to think, well, you know, this isn't, I don't want you to see me clearly. So I'm going to, to hide behind anger and, and chaos and, and doubt. So just be mindful of that. Slowly and steadily moving towards prosperity during this time, no big moves. Don't make any big decisions if if you can help it because this is a time where it's it's slowly and steadily moving not 
not laying down that foundation quite yet. So do be mindful of that. The subconscious chakra message is angels and masters. This is the soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. This is a sense of, of being guided, of falling into alignment with our hearts, our souls, ourselves, what we desire, what we want, what we need, and seeing that open up. So there's, there's great protection over us during this time. And that's why this Mercury retrograde, we're not as affected by it as others are. But do note that it's an intense Mercury retrograde. So when we're shining with light and everybody else is, is upset or when we ourselves feel like, oh, I have to fight, you know, I have to stand in, in my truth and anybody who comes up against it, you know, comes up against me, I, I need to have a fight against. It's like, no, 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 don't. Don't stoop to their level. Save your energy. The subconscious energy that we need to be mindful of is the, the Hierophant. This is Taurus energy, but this is a sense of, of institutions, ruling powers. This is just, just be very mindful. Be very mindful of, of this energy because there's going to be a sense of like it's conforming. It's, it's looking at things in a very rigid, certain way. And there needs to be more expression here than that. The subconscious terror, mes terror message that roots us is the Three of, S of Swords. Even though we have a lot of joy and prosperity and abundance right here, it comes from a place of pain. It comes from a place of heartbreak and disappointment. It can be that we're very afraid, you know, okay, I'm moving forward this way, but what if I mess up? What if everything falls apart? What if I misstep? And so the heartbreak comes forward. And this is a time where we need to take our blessings and not just look at the pain that we have been through, looking at our blessings, what we desire, what we want, what we need, and, and taking out the swords of naming the heartbreak and saying, you don't get to have power over my life anymore. And yes, the heartbreak will come in. The heartbreak will still have power over us at times, but it's, it's claiming our path, it's claiming what we desire, it's knowing what we deeply long for, and it's opening up that world to us. It moves us then to our subconscious message that crowns us, and that's the star. That's our dreams and our wishes and our hopes and our desires coming forward. This is blessings guiding us and insight being a part of us. This is our deepest wishes being, being heard, being seen, and this is us being, being free because of it. Claim that throne. Claim that power. Let, let your wishes be your guide. Let your, your deepest soul's desire guide you forward, Leo. All right. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all, and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we shine during this Mercury retrograde. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Leo.